Hello and welcome back to Toys Thursday with Johnny Tiger on uh, March 11, 2021. A while ago, um, probably if I remember right, uh, two or three months ago, we did an episode, actually I believe we did two episodes showcasing some uh, very proud Native American First Nation warriors in the action figure world. Well, just happened, after we did those episodes, a couple more of these proud uh, Aborigine warriors, I don't know what to call them anymore, sorry guys, I mean, if any of you is uh, uh, First Nation Indian, uh, Native American, uh, uh, whatever, uh, I, it, it, it seems like they change the proper term every year, so I'm really not up to date on how it's supposed to be done. Uh, so anyway, we got a few more of these proud warriors showing up, and uh, so I've been waiting to uh, add them to our Toy Thursday. And that's what we are going to do today. The first figure I'm showing you, you see, you can see him in front of the camera right now. Uh, this is a proud Canadian warrior. Actually, he is a First Nation, obviously here in Canada, we can't really say Native American, just uh, kind of confusing that way. So here in Canada, uh, what to uh, the, the rest of the uh, United States, uh, to the United States uh, is uh, Native American, here in Canada we call them First Nation. So this guy in front of the camera is Dr. Michael Two Young Men. Yeah, you heard me right. It's actually, it, it, it spells exactly the way it sounds. Two young men. Right? T-W-O-Y-U-N-G-M-E-N. Uh, two young men. Yeah, that's kind of an awkward name. Uh, Doctor Two Young Men. Like, just all kind of uh, unsavory uh, association connotation there. But we are not going to make fun of his name because this is actually a pretty cool character and pretty... Uh, pretty interesting looking action figure. So I, I, I do like him. I, I do like him. So we're not going to make fun, too much fun of his name. Uh, so who is Dr. Michael Tuyaman then? For most of his early life, Dr. Tuyaman is uh, one of the best surgeons in Canada. So yeah. Uh, unlike a lot of the other Doctor This, Doctor Doom, Doctor Evil, Doctor whatever uh, you hear about in comic book, this guy, Doctor Michael Tuyaman, actually was a, 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 a surgeon, was a doctor, one of the best surgeons in Canada. And after uh, he became a surgeon, uh, eventually he realized that that was not all he was meant to be. It turned out that the Tuyaman family, the Tuyaman uh, name, was fated to be uh, the guardian mystic of the Tutina tribe, uh, Tutina nation, sorry. Uh, I'm probably not saying the name uh, properly, Tutina, Tutina. Uh, it's a nation, uh, a first nation uh, clan nation here in Alberta, Canada. Uh, so, yeah, it is a real nation. Uh, so, Dr. Tuyaman, uh, in, in his fictitious biography, of course, uh, Dr. Tuyaman realized that he was fated to be the mystic of the Tutina people. So, he left his medical practice and went back to join his tribe and uh, spent a lot of time guarding them from outside evils and uh, evil spirits and stuff like that. One of his greatest accomplishments was he raised the Canadian goddess superheroine by the name of uh, Aurora. Uh, actually, sorry, I, I, uh, by the name of Snowbird. I get Aurora and Snowbird confused sometimes. Um, and in the end, uh, he took on the code name Shaman 
or shaman, depending on how you want to pronounce that, shaman. Uh, and he became one of the uh, more voice of reason, uh, more founding member of uh, the Alpha Flight team, a Canadian superhero. So there's several reasons why I really like uh, Tuyaman, Dr. Tuyaman or Shaman, uh, Shaman, uh, both in character and action figure. One is, well, he, he's not like a lot of other superheroes out there who is basically just good at punching people. He's not actually that good at punching people. He, he's, his whole thing is healing. His whole thing is uh, uh, healing harm done by uh, uh, spirits or demons or uh, other, other supervillains. Uh, he does have some uh, fighting ability in that he can use his magic to throw powerful blasts of fire, he can command the element, he can call down lightning, he can call up a storm, uh, he can uh, uh, transform himself into different uh, shapes if he has to. He can also uh, control animals and plants to do his bidding. So he is with, he's not without offensive capability, but for the most part, he doesn't really go out there and uh, get down and dirty and roughing it up with the bad guy. He, uh, Dr. Tuyaman is more of a team healer. He's that guy that's going to be all zen and wise and, uh, and if there's any kind of mystical threat uh, that needs to be handled, he's the guy that deals with that. He's basically Alpha Flight's version of Dr. Strange, which is really cool. So I like that. I like a character that doesn't rely on his muscles and stuff like that to uh, win the day. Now I will say, uh, as uh, as as a healer go, as a uh, uh, basically what is just a normal human being with mystical ability, this guy is quite buff. Uh, of course, that uh, I don't know if he's drawn that way in the comic book, but if you look at this guy, he's not super huge. He's what I would say normal human being size as action figure show but he is really buff um, look at the the musculature in his chest his stomach his arms look at those uh, deltoids look at the muscle on his back muscles on his leg like those that's a serious leg muscles there so again i don't know if he's depicted this way in a comic book, but it, it is a little bit strange that uh, someone who is basically a, a mystical medicine man, uh, spirit, spiritual guidance uh, for the team, is uh, this ripped. It's like Dr. Tu Youngman still managed to find time to hit up the gym, even though he's busy healing people, performing surgeries, and dealing with uh, spiritual attacks and demonic invasions and stuff like that. It's quite interesting. Now, another reason I really, really like this character, and like I, I, I want to put emphasis on really, really like this character and this action figure, is that he is one of the very few uh, superheroes from uh, DC or Marvel that have, like to me, anyway, have the best looking hair. A lot of times, uh, you, if you take a look at most superheroes, their hairdo is just like, yeah, okay, that look clean, that look functional, but uh, and, uh, without counting the females, of course, you have female, like superheroines, have some amazing hairdos, but most guys, superheroes, even Thunder God, Thor, doesn't look that good. You know, that, that even with his long hair, sore, it just kind of a little bit uh, unkempt, uh, messy sometimes. It's just like a lot of hair blowing everywhere. Not in the case of Dr. Two Young Men here. Um, you look at how his hair is done. He has long hair draped over his shoulder in the front, and then we turn him around. He has the long hair going back to the middle of his back. It's slightly wavy. Uh, he has black hair, by the way, of course, we have his First Nation. Black hair, uh, brown eyes. 
Uh, he has a, a headband that tie, that uh, keeps the hair out of his face. This is just like uh, one of the very few superhero action figures that as soon as I get him out of the box, I was like, wow, nice hair. And of course, now that I'm sporting similarly long hair myself, kind of uh, makes me a little bit biased. But yeah, uh, I, I have seen uh, hairstyles like this that impress me a lot from uh, Japanese characters uh, in animes, but from uh, American, uh, Canadian characters, I very rarely seen hair that look this good, this uh, stylish, I can say. Just really, really nice. Um, he also is wearing a largely uh, yellow and green outfit with a loincloth. And on his right hip, let me get his arm out of the way. On his right hip, there's a little pouch with uh, supposedly that's where he keeps his uh, medicine and spiritual ingredients and stuff like that in there. Uh, he also has a kind of a wristband bracer thing on his forearm. I'm not sure there's some uh, important to those. He came uh, in a box of six figures. You can almost get the entire Alpha Flight team with one purchase. Uh, if you guys see this review and you go on Amazon and just search for uh, Marvel Legends Alpha Flight. Uh, last time I saw it, it's on sale right now. It's like you can get the whole uh, six figures for $70. $70, that, so that's less than $20 each figure. Uh, really, really good price con uh, con compared to what I had to pay for the team. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, Dr. Tuyaman came from that box set. And it's one of my favorite character from the Alpha Flight team. He is also very highly articulated, like most uh, Marvel Legend guys. Of course, his hair, his long hair, limits his head from looking up. He can't really look up, but he can look down just fine. Look at that. He can nod his head. Shake his head, left and right, turn his waist, do crunches, back and forth, arms go up and down and sideways, sideways, bicep can move, bicep can move and wrist can move, legs can kick out to the side, forward, and Back, knees, bend, and look at this double jointed knee. See how far he can uh, bend his leg like that. Like, uh, I can actually get him into a meditation cross legged pose, which is how he's often depicted when he's uh, levitating. Look at that, cross legged. Yeah. That's really cool. A lot of uh, action figures can't actually pull off this cross-legged seated pose. And you can get him into that lotus position. Really nice. The next figure I'm going to show you guys, uh, for those of you who our classic comic book readers, if you follow the early days of X-Men, you know this guy. And uh, I've been waiting to get an action figure of this guy for quite a while. Finally, I was able to uh, acquire him you know, just a, a couple of weeks ago, actually. This proud, strong, uh, muscular warrior is a uh, code name. Thunderbird, and his real name was uh, John Proudstar. John Proudstar. And, and uh, well, long story short, in the beginning of the X Men comic run, it was almost like 
the, the artists, the writers were trying for this. Well, we should include everyone、uh, around the world. There should be this、uh, racial equality thing going on, which actually got a little bit silly because they try so hard that it became very obvious.、Uh, if you look at your X Men team, you have uh, uh, Cyclops and、uh, Rogue. And a couple of them that so obviously American, and then you have Wolverine, Canadian. You have uh, uh, Colossus, who's Russian, and then you have Storm, who's supposedly African, but she was always drawn to be look like a white lady. So I don't know why. And maybe people back then didn't know how to draw、uh, African people.、Um, and then you have、uh, Banshee, who's、uh, clearly you from the UK. And then you have Sunfire, who is、uh, from Japan, basically represent the Asian culture. And then, of course, at the end of all that, they decided, well, we got a bit of, we got some from everybody. We should get、uh, a Native American warrior on the team. So they brought in a guy who really wasn't really all that impressive,、uh, wasn't really all that fun to work with, and they call him Thunderbird. And that's the guy here, Thunderbird, John Proudstar. From his biography, we learn that John Proudstar is、uh, about six foot one and two hundred twenty-five pounds. So he's a big,、uh, muscular guy.、Uh, he is of the Apache people. He is from Arizona, and honestly. He he was a very forgetful, for, forgettable character.、Uh, he was to the X Men team, but、uh, their version of Boromir from Lord of the Rings. Basically, this strong, obnoxious character who got introduced just because they needed someone who is strong on the team, and then quick, very quickly, it's like the writers realized how boring he was to write and how they couldn't do anything with him. And decided to get rid of him, and、uh, he became that guy who got killed off really early because he was really stubborn and refused to work with the team. And forever on forward, he would be used as educational material. See, you better work with the team, otherwise you end up like Thunderbird. Yeah. So what is his uh, uh, ability? What, what's his super、um, power? Well, he he supposedly had super strength,、um, and the first thing we saw him do in comic book was Thunderbird rescuing the little girl by throwing a full-grown bison out of the way with、uh, with his bare hands, and so yeah, that that was pretty impressive. But unfortunately, that was basically the only thing he ever did that was impressive.、Um, as even as super heroes went. His super strength was very minimal.、Uh, he was not like Spider-Man,、uh, not like、uh, the Hulk.、Uh, his upward limit was only two tons. Now, for any normal guy, two tons is impossible. But as far as superhero goes, two tons is like、uh, nothing. It, it, it's down there. It's like at the bottom of the bed. Like if I was a superhero and、uh, I can lift two tons. I would be embarrassed to claim that I have super strength. I I, I would just keep quiet about that.、Um, when you consider that you know, there are people like the Incredible Hulk and the Thunder God Thor and a lot of other characters that range upward of 100 tons、uh, lifting power. So Thunderbird was super strength,、uh, had super strength as far as human, regular human went, but. Was very low by superhero standard.、Uh, supposedly, he had、uh, a little bit of、uh, invulnerability. He had some toughness to his skin and tissue. It was said that his skin and tissues were three times as tough as a normal human being. But、uh, that didn't protect him really in in the end.、Um, what happened to him in the end? Well, long story short, the X Men went after this evil guy called. Count Nefaria, and、uh, Count Nefaria tried to run away by flying away on、uh, his plane. And while the rest of the team retreated, Thunderbird decided 
for some reason, at that last minute, that this was the time for him to show off, and he jumped onto the plane, and the plane took off, and then uh, he started tearing into the plane's engine with his bare hand. Like, okay, okay, like, I don't know if uh, being mentally challenged was part of his uh, superpower, but when you are up there in the sky, when you're on, on the top of a plane trying to stop a bad guy, and you, you, you don't have any flight ability yourself, tearing apart the engine of that plane seemed to be like the dumbest thing anyone can think of doing. That, that like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, like, to me that was such a clumsy way for the writers to uh, justify getting him killed. So anyway, he tore the engine apart with his bare hands, and the plane exploded, and Thunderbird died. And uh, the most ironic part of that was, Count Nefaria, the bad guy that they were after, didn't even die in the explosion. Count Nefaria teleported away before <laughs> before the explosion. So, yeah, it, it's just one of those really stupid, really uh, idiotic deaths in the uh, early days of X-Men that was uh just made me shake my head a lot uh, like how how dumb it was but enough of his history as much as a uh, uh, kind of a disgraceful history it was and he he was a short-lived uh superhero uh, thunderbird uh by the way he was very obnoxious too like he was this strong proud indian sorry uh native american warrior uh, who joined the X-Men, and he constantly wanted to prove how strong he was, he constantly wanted to prove how he was a real warrior, and he was just like, not able to work with anybody, just very obnoxious kind of guy. Uh, but, you can see, uh, his action figure, pretty good looking, he's uh, got a very solid, very muscular build, he has uh, a blue uniform with red stripe and uh, a bird symbol on his chest. He has a domino mask on his face and um, a headband tying back his, that's a lot of hair, <laughs> uh, almost shorter length hair and there's two feathers sticking uh, downward out of his headband in the back. He got fringes on his uh, sleeve, on his upper arm, fringes here, uh, on his, uh, around his leg. So yeah, he's kind of dressed like a proud uh, Native American warrior. Uh, he is uh, big and burly, uh, big and strong. So uh, despite him being such a forgettable and ridiculous character, uh, it's a nice action figure. Uh, uh, of naked, na na native, naked. <laughs> Sorry, uh, trying to uh, clear my throat uh, covertly, and then that totally came out wrong. Uh, native American descent. He is a very worthy Native American action figure to be added to the display. Okay, and finally, I can get that out right. I don't know how many uh, First Nation Native American people have offended with the this video so far, but uh, uh, there's no going back. Mm. So, now, with a quick size comparison, here is Michael Kuyaman, uh back in the frame, and then here is Thunderbird standing side by side. As you can see, they are almost the same size, uh, height-wise, uh, but Thunderbird is obviously a lot more burly, a lot more buff, uh, a really thick torso, uh, bigger arm, bigger leg altogether, just a, a more muscular character as he should be. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the contrast should actually be even bigger uh, because I, I'm still not convinced that uh, Michael Tuyaman was this muscular in the comic book. But maybe he was, I, I don't know, you know, having never been able to see it myself. Uh, maybe any of you who've seen the comic book or can 
do a Google search, you can tell me. So anyway, that's uh, Thunderbird, slightly bigger than uh, Michael Trianman, uh, a muscular, proud uh, Apache warrior. Well, just knocked over the backdrop. Despite his death, Thunderbird's story didn't end there. Yet you see, while he was uh, busy fighting alongside the X-Men, oh, by the way, he was a, a you know, United States Marine as well, before he joined the X-Men. Uh, so that, that's something cool about Thunderbird, he was a Marine. Um, so while he was busy out there trying to prove how tough and how much of a strong warrior he was, his younger brother, who uh, really admired him, uh, his younger brother's name was James, James Proudstar. So uh, James Proudstar grew up admiring his older brother, John Proudstar, and always wanted to be just like him. And while John Proudstar was out there gallivanting around fighting evil with the X-Men, James Proudstar also manifested his own superhuman ability. Well, I mean, they are brothers, so I guess it is there in their genetic. Uh, except, in the case of James Proudstar, he ended up doing so much better than his brother, both in uh, character and action figure form. And this is why. Uh, after Thunderbird died, in the most humiliating, ridiculous way, Anyway, uh, James Proudstar heard of his brother's death, and he blamed the X-Men. He, he believed they got his brother killed on purpose. So, since he has manifested his own superhuman ability, he decided to join the bad guys, uh, because he wanted to uh, have revenge on the X-Men. So he went after the X-Men, finally lured them into a trap, but at the last minute, he was unable to kill them because of his uh, 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 heroic conscience. He had a good, very strong sense of uh, right or wrong. And he, he, even though he believed he hated them, he was unable to kill them because of his conscience. And then he learned that uh, his brother died a hero's death. He died a very idiotic death, but anyway, I'm pretty sure the X-Men tried to put it in a, as good a light as they could. And uh, so James stepped into his older brother's spot and became the next Thunderbird. And after serving with the X-Men for a while, he decided to retire and go back to uh, be with his people. He decided all this fighting, all this adventure were too much for him that he wanted to go home and just be a normal guy after all. Unfortunately, when he went home, he realized that his entire tribe was murdered by the Hellfire Club. That's uh, one of the supervillain groups, the Hellfire Club. So he joined another group of uh, mutants called the X-Force, led by Cable. And so he went on a new mission of revenge, this time uh, wanting to track down the Hellfire Club and kill them. And he ditched the name Thunderbird and took on the name Warpath because he was now going on the Warpath. And here he is, the second Thunderbird, aka Warpath, younger brother to John Proudstar. Here is James Proudstar, Warpath. Immediately, you'll notice that Warpath is massive, like he, uh, Thunderbird was already a big guy, but Thunderbird, in his biography, only stands 6 foot 1 inches tall. His younger brother, James, got really big. James got up to 7 foot 2 inches tall and weighed 350 pounds. That's one big dude. For the most part, uh, he dresses a lot like Thunderbird. He's also got his blue uniform and with a red stripe and a bird symbol on his chest. And move his arm out of the way. He got his arm crossed over his chest. Uh, yeah, there we go. But there's some differences in their uniform because 
uh, thunder uh, warpath is got this huge shoulder pad on his shoulder. I don't know why superheroes uh, or characters feel that they need giant shoulder pads like that, while the rest of them have no armor. Like, you know, honestly, you, you, you think your shoulders are the most important place that you need extra protection? Like, you, 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 what do you want to protect, like your chest or your face or your head? Anyway, uh, uh, the, the armor design idios, uh, idiocy uh, apart. Uh, and this is uh, also, this guy, Warpath, is also wearing a domino mask. And uh, he's got straight, long, black hair that fall down the side of his face, hiding the side of his face, and reach down all the way to top of his shoulder in the back. Also has feather sticking out of the headband. So he does dress a lot like his older brother, and as a way to honor uh, his older brother. Now, why did I say that uh, in both character and action figures he went above and beyond his older brother? Because James what, did not have that obnoxious tendency to uh, always walk around and so I want to, uh, I'm a strong, proud warrior, and I've got to prove myself, and, and he didn't do that. He, he was a lot more likable. His whole thing was, he wanted to avenge his brother, avenge his people, and then he wanted to just get left alone and live a normal life. That's it. Um, he also, well, a lot bigger than his brother, and even his superpower is amazing. Uh, he's like a Thunderbird on steroids. He also has superhuman strength, and at one point during his career, Warpath, uh, aka Thunderbird number two, could lift upward of 90 ton. So he's almost in that Incredible Hulk range as far as that, that super strength, that super strength. He can climb up the side of a high-rise building by digging his finger into the concrete and pull himself up uh, to the top floor that way. Uh, he also manifested the ability to fly faster than the uh, speed of sound. And when he runs, he can run up to 100 miles per hour. So, yeah, Warpath is way more impressive as a superhuman than uh, that brother of his. He's uh, a little bit closer to what we expect to be like a Superman kind of character. Oh, by the way, he also has uh, healing ability. He can uh, heal a lot faster than normal human being. Um, he's not on the same level as Deadpool or Wolverine, but he can definitely heal from a lot of stuff. He can also fall from several stories uh, to the street and without suffering hardly any damage. Look at the muscles on this guy. This is this is one big action figure. Really impressive. Uh, it's one of those action figures that I took out of the box, and I went, whoa, <laughs> that's one big dude. Um, and uh, just just so I don't forget to mention, he's also uh, one of my uh, part of my birthday gift from my beautiful intelligent girlfriend in uh, 2020 for my birthday. So oh, I really like this character. I like Warpath as a character a lot more. And I did Thunderbird, and I like Warpath a lot more as an action figure than I did uh, Thunderbird. Now, let's uh, bring the guys in for a three native warrior uh, comparison. Let me uh, get the backdrop here. Now we have Warpath. In the middle, and we have Michael Two Young Men on one side, and Thunderbird on the other side. As you guys can see, uh, Warpath 
stand head and shoulder bigger than、uh, both Sunderberg and Shaman,、uh, Michael Truman.、Uh, so he he is a definitely a really large character. He's、uh, not quite the size of Incredible Hulk, but he's definitely bigger than、uh, characters like、uh, Thor and and Captain America and Saber Tooth. Those other big guys. He, he's a, a quite a giant、uh, character. So that wraps up our、uh, First Nation Native American Warrior episode.、Um, until next time,、uh, thank you for checking out today's Toy Thursday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Fitness Friday. For now, have a good night. <laughs>